Welcome to Shoe Science, where we do science in a shoe. <laughs> I recently made a yellow highlighter water inside my shoes and someone asked me to try pink, so I'm going to try that today. It just it's come off very easily, just a light little tug. Oh, not again. <laughs> This might take two hands. It's a two hand job. Oh my God, that sounded bad. <laughs> it's fine. Another science success. I had built a pair of heels with some highlighter water to see if I could make them glow in the dark. I've had a lot of people ask to use Orbeez, so I'm gonna fill up shoes with Orbeez, but instead of adding water, I'm gonna see what happens when I add highlighter water. I have no idea how many to put in here, so I'm just gonna guess. Next, I'm gonna add the highlighter water. The Orbeez are in the highlighter water, and now we wait. I feel like they're filled up perfectly, so let's go see if these will glow in the dark. Today we're going to see if we can make a glow-in-the-dark aquarium inside my shoes. I'm starting by combining water with some clear hand soap. I plan to add glitter to this, so I'm hoping the hand soap will help the glitter flow around a little longer instead of immediately sinking to the bottom. Next, I add a little bit of glow-in-the-dark powder. You really don't need a lot of this. This next step is my personal favorite. We are going to add some glitter. Nothing says shoe science like a little glitz and glam. I knew there would be some bubbles because I used soap, but I was not ready for this amount. But hey, it adds to the science bit, right? I mean, look how science-y those bubbles look. It's finally fish time. Let's throw that baby in there. I know it looks realistic, but trust me when I say that is a fake fish. Do not ever put a real fish in a shoe for anyone who might need to hear that. I am using a black light to charge up that glow-in-the-dark powder. Let's see if they glow! I think next time I might add a little bit more glow-in-the-dark powder to the water because I was hoping it would be a little more glowy, but I still like the way it turned out and I would definitely consider this a science success. I was inspired by this little key charm. Key charm? Key chain. Key chain charm. Instead of Kirby floating in the middle, I'm gonna try and make a floating aquarium. First, you're gonna take a mostly clean beaker, add some glycerin to it. You're also gonna add a little bit of water. Food coloring. DIY funnel. We add our glycerin water. We're gonna fill it up the rest of the way with some baby oil. Oh no, that was not, that's not good. My DIY funnel, <laughs> DIY don't work. We're gonna pretend baby oil is not everywhere and we're just gonna continue with a smile. Everything's fine. And next we're gonna, my hands are so oily. <laughs> Take our fish. Please work. <laughs> this is satire, people. It's not real science, okay? I don't actually know if these, this is gonna work. I just start putting things in a shoe and I hope. Consider that a science success. I definitely need to put these on. A science success. 3D printed a bunch of eyeballs, so we're gonna put some eyeballs in my shoe. Eyeball shoe, ta-da! Mostly clean beaker. I've got my sack of dye. Why did I, why did I say that? Anything else? <laughs> I could have literally called it anything else. Bag of food coloring. Yes! Another mostly clean beaker. Actually, that one's not mostly clean. That one is very questionable. <laughs> not a child block. Oh my god. No! This one's broken, I'm telling you. This one, this one is broken. Why won't it come off? I'm about to chew this thing open. It says you push down. You push it down, I'm pushing down with everything I have. <laughs> for shoe science. Lucky for me, these bad boys were on sale, buy one, get one free, so I have another one to try. See, it was not me. Look how easy that opened. Another beaker. Cute. <laughs> I meant to stop my foot here and just went, whoo. What should I put in them next? 
weeks. I tried to do a blue highlighter water and it failed miserably. It's not UV reactive, whoops. I want to redeem myself with highlighter water. Green or orange? We're gonna go green. I'm gonna go get that. I should have probably tested this to see if it would glow, <laughs> but I didn't, so hopefully green is UV reactive. This one's a two handy. I'm sorry, mom. Hold this scientific beaker with both hands. Glitter? I feel like the answer is always yes. Please glow in the dark. See what they look like with a black light. No black light. Black light. I might need to turn these into a Beetlejuice shoe. This is my new favorite shoe science. We have to put them on. <laughs> my socks are so wet. shoes up with green highlighter water and I saved some of it. I'm gonna try and make glow-in-the-dark Orbeez. I think it'd be cool to have green and pink. I was gonna do purple but I couldn't find a purple highlighter so we're gonna do pink. Every single time I've ever done that it goes flying across the room. Kitty don't eat that. Milk that highlighter. <laughs> it sounds like a motorcycle. We've got Orbeez. This is looking really cool already. Will they glow? Let's find out. Please, 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 please. Whoa. Definitely a science success. Turn my shoe into a magic eight ball magic shoe. Answer our questions from beyond. Well, I don't know if it's from beyond because it's not like it's haunted. It's not like a ghost shoe. Like that one episode of Spongebob with the magic conch shell. <laughs> I'm gonna get more water because the last thing I wanna do is get yelled at. Oh, I can't fill it up all the way. I'm lazy and I don't like getting up to refill the water, honestly. That's the only reason. Let's go purple. Ooh. <laughs> Just open that with my mouth. <laughs> Hopefully that really is non-toxic because, uh, whoops. This die, dice, die, has been blessed by the magic eight ball gods and shoe science. All knowing shoe. Am I going to ruin these shoes someday soon? Without a doubt. <laughs> no. Let's see if we can turn these into Mount Vesuvius. You're gonna put down a towel just in case things get a little messy. Now I have half a cup of vinegar. <laughs> Does pink stain? We'll find out. Okay, that looks red, but it's fine. Let's add some glitter. Last step is to set the scene. Dinosaurs. Okay, that one can just lay down. They're already giving up. It's fine. He's gonna, that's a napping dinosaur. Eruption in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, please don't ruin these shoes, 4, 3, 2, 1. serotonin for another five minutes. I consider this a science success. Just kidding. It's not real science. Just kidding. It is. Or is it? I don't know.